Last night, I got a text. We found some snake eggs. And I was like, don't worry about it. It's perfectly okay. They're non-venomous. You can touch them. And so they said, hey, they'll be at the office. You can pick them up. Well, I got an alert this morning that the temperature was 56 degrees out. And I was like, oh man, those snake eggs are too cold. So I'm here to gather the snake eggs. I wonder if the dragon laid these snake eggs. I hope they didn't get too cold. These look very viable. They are very cold though. 56 degrees. They've been inside an old bell of hay. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is put them in the incubation and see if they hatch. They're very big. It's gotta be a Western black rat snake. I don't know anything else, are. but stay tuned. We will hatch them. Yes, we can. I'm gonna start this video with one of our animal care technicians. <laughs> We've got some snake eggs that are hatching currently. Not awkward at all. <laughs> oh no, you didn't give me a script. You didn't tell me what to say. So <laughs> we were called out to the St. Louis Renaissance Fair to pick up some eggs and we did. And those said eggs, which we don't know what they are, but we do know that they're hatching. There's a little bubbly hatcher right there. Those are slitting open right there. That one's slitting open right there. If I was gonna guess, so either a Western rat snake or a prairie king snake, or my biggest wish would be a hognose snake, but hognose snakes don't usually put their eggs inside hay bales. But anyway, we just got these the other day and uh, they're already starting to hatch. They're not ready to come out yet, but by tomorrow they will be. Stay tuned. Big. That is a abnormally large baby. And so we're going to give it a little assistance because all of its brethren have come out. And if it's still alive, it should be ready to come out. It ain't wiggling. Is that wiggle? Oh, it is wiggling. It did wiggle a little bit. I don't ever cut eggs open, so I don't have all the tools some of these other big time guys have, but it is still alive. It's the only one that hasn't hit. Actually, all the other ones are completely out of the egg. This is the only one that's not come out yet. Oh, there he is. He's alive. Look at that. He is alive. It's a good thing we cut it open because he did not pip on his own, but looks like he's gonna make it. Hatchling colubrids enter the world ready to eat. Typically, they start with different types of lizards and small rodents. Newborn rodents. That little guy is ready for the world. Just look at that cute little tongue flicking tasting the new world around it. 